All right, all right, all right. What is going on, Virgo? What is the word, Joe? It is me, Ra. It is she, Ra. It is Vera. It is Scorpion, Red Tarot. And I am back at it one time for the one time. Did you guys miss me? Because I sure. I missed you guys. I very much so missed you guys. Thank you guys so much for showing me all of the love and the light and just the inspiration while I was on my break. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies who have liked, share, subscribe, and click this video. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if this video resonates and you just want to show and send some love, okay? So shout out to all you guys. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading, only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page and send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger email me at scorpionbreads at gmail.com okay all right we are reloaded you guys so listen virgo you know as we always do we like to show Father God love and just give him his flowers and just give him his recognition and just give him thanks before we get to start asking any questions um, here to find out what's going on for the month of July uh, 2021. I want to give a big thanks to everybody who's been booking personal and private readings with me while I was on my break. We have eight new decks here. Um, that's all thanks to you guys and your support to my page. It puts a lot of love on the table and I just want to give a big thanks. Let's ring the bell for that. Hello. Hello. So, Father God, let's just give you uh, all your praises and acknowledgement and love. Father God, thank you so much for coming in for the sign of Virgo. Thank you so much for shining your love down on us. Thank you so much for all of your favor. Thank you so much for the lifesaver that you throw out for us anytime that we in need, Father God. Anytime that we feel like we're sinking and drowning, you always pull us out, Father God. We thank you so much for all of your love and encouragement. We thank you so much for all of the blessings that are raining down on us in the name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you so much for the season, for the season of enlightenment and encouragement and blessing lessons father god we thank you so much for just keeping us high spirited and grounded father god please give us guidance for the sign of virgo for july 2021 father god we're here to have some fun we're here to just resonate in this moment of blessings and prosperity and just glory because they don't know our story in the name of jesus amen amen and amen let's get into this all right so we got some crystal grid cards here virgo we're going to get into this and see oh okay we red hot we just popping off right off the top here all right this says this is red jade this is warrior individuality and chi let's see what this says red jade unleash your inner warrior red jade is the stone of power able to release anger in constructive ways that resolves problems filled with chi known as life force in Chinese culture. Red Jade enhances passion, vitality, and strength. Take action and move decisively. Red Jade enhances your courage, protecting and inspiring you as you move forward in your day-to-day -day life. Red Jade is something that you use when you are looking to have exponential results. Whether it's in your finances, business, or with your physical health, good luck is bestowed upon you. Red Jade, again, means warrior, individuality, and chi. Represents the sign of Aries and Venus. Red Jade. All right, now it's time to strap up the boots. Look, listen, all right, y'all already know what time it is. Hold on, let's... Come on, Aries. You need that Aries energy right now. Listen, I don't know if y'all have Aries placement in your charts, Virgo, but right now, it's time. It's not time to be passive. It's not time to sit in a place of worry. It's time to get your mind together. It's time to get that strength. It's time to sit that back up straight, and it's time to be a fighter. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, let's see what we got here. Give me guidance here for my sign of Virgo for July 2021. All right. And just know that you're protected. Know that you got this. You got the Page of Pentacles. It's like nerding. It's like you guys are um, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. 
You guys are having to learn something new. Having to understand something that's like, um, it's like giving a chance to start over. And again, like this is like a harvest, a harvest season. So it's like something that's being given to you, something that's being inherited to you. It's like something that is being, It. I want to say it's something that developed over time because here it is. The Seven of Cups. So you got the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Okay. It's like we all got choices. We all got options. We all have our own individual fate, right? It's like this new skill, this new opportunity, this new chance that you have. It's the chance of a lifetime and you have to choose wisely. You can't be just glamour. Because again, I feel like, um, I don't know why I feel like this is an impressionable mind. Um, it's like you can't just take your first offer. You got to look at each opportunity individually and don't just look at what it can give you at the moment look at the longevity you know look at what is being offered to you and if you can stretch that to sustain and take care of the fruits of the it's like okay so that's just like you may be given an offer let's say it's a job right and say you only get paid once a month but you got to take care of all of these different crops that you have growing in your yard but you still got to pay your bills and you still got other opportun uh, other responsibilities but you got to take this one lump sum of money and make it stretch you see what I'm saying so it's like is this a reasonable opportunity can you really do that would it really fulfill you like the seven of cups is like being confused not really knowing what to do it's like having so much in front of you all at one time it's like you don't know which opportunity to take first or which one you really take seriously and it's like you really need to pay attention to what you're doing because again it's like bright eyed and bushy tailed it's like um I don't know if, if, if people can tell that you're green and you really haven't been faced with this before so it's like they can just like offer you anything and they feel like you may take it because it's like you kind of lack experience or something. It's like this is something new, but it's still an opportunity. But you need to pay attention and you need to make sure that it you will be able to sustain until you meet your full harvest. Do you understand what they're giving you, what is being offered to you right now? Can you sustain? Can you live on that? Into the rest of your fruits that you already have planned continues to and finish to, to grow. If that makes any sense. So it's like it's not about them, it's about you. I really feel like it's like this is your opportunity to choose yourself. And I want to say to start over. And I want to say it may be difficult at this time because. There's a lot of opportunities and a lot of it don't really make sense to you. I want to, it's like, I feel like you've always like kind of relied on other people to help you figure shit out. But it's like, this, this is your chance to really weigh shit out and go inside and figure out what you want on your own. It's like, you have to figure this shit out. It's the fight or flight. You know what I'm saying? You gotta champion your way through this shit. You're a warrior. Again, your warrior, individuality, your chi, your protected, it's that root chakra. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got this shit. And again, where is it? It says, red jade enhances passion, vitality, and strength. Take action and move decisively. Red jade enhances your courage. Protecting and inspiring you to move forward in your day-to-day -day life. Use Red Jade when you were looking to have expontane, um, 
exponential results, whether in your finances, business, or with your physical health. Good luck is bestowed upon you. You got the house and then you got the coffin. Okay. It looks like there's an ending of some sorts. There's a there's there's a reassessment of your reality being had here. I don't know why I had to say that, but that's what I heard. A reassessment of reality. Um there's something that needs to like finally be put to an end, like for for good. It don't I don't know why I wanna say it's like Why I want to say to somebody there might be bodies buried under a fucking house? I don't know why I wanted to say that. Why in the fuck did I want to say that? That's weird and that's creepy. And I normally don't be talking about no shit like that. But it's like... I don't know. Or it's like... um. There might be a lot of shit buried under the foundation. Um, it could be your foundation or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I don't know why I feel like it's something buried under a foundation that kind of... Um, I want to say... If it's something buried under a foundation, it kind of needs to be unearthed and um, put to rest or finally put to peace or like, um, you know what I'm saying? Respects being paid so it could finally rest or something like that because it's something that's still bothering the soul and it's like it needs to be unearthed so like there could be some peace in the house or the mainframe or the bones of the you know what I'm saying um, it's something that's kind of like unsettled and it hasn't really been fully dealt with because you, you with the six of diamonds the six of diamonds has to do with like something being cut off like there's being some silence so it could be something that has been um, not really talked about that it, it needs to be unearthed and finally, like, put to rest. Like, the respects paid to it and just, like, really be dealt with and be done with for good. You, do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, um, it'll give, I don't know, it'll give strength to the old bones. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, if something is finally unearthed and acknowledged and a proper respect being paid, like, should it be fine? Do you understand? Like this house represents like someone's comfort with someone, their day to day, where they live, where they rest, where they, you know, uh, find peace. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's something about it having old bones. I don't know if it's an old house or it's an old structure or something, but it can be a lot of love and it could be a lot of happiness and it could be rejuvenation put into this I just feel like um there's respect that needed to be paid to the structure it needs to be love in the house do you understand what I'm saying um and again it can mean it um like this why did I see the fucking um that's the nine of diamonds I don't know why I feel like I don't know why I felt like I seen the um, six of diamonds because it means like something silent. But the nine of diamonds means like, um, it means like some type of financial gain. It means, uh, it can mean like, I don't know, like an inheritance or something. I don't, oh Jesus, like God, this is making me sick to my stomach now. Cause it's like I don't want to think about it in that way. Let's see, the nine of diamonds means extra money, a check, a bonus, the brain, mental energy, psychic ability, imagination, electricity, 
electromagnetic energy, other people's wishes and desires that affect the influence of the quarant, fame, celebrity, public office, ber berratic red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards. So it's like, and again, I mean, the coffin means what the, the, the freak the coffin means it means like it's going to be some type of ending to cause some type of rejuvenation it means ending retreat illnesses anxiety fears loss entanglement you know it's like it's it's not it's not good you know what i'm saying so I don't know. I just, I got to move on from that. I feel like there's, it's like some unrest in the house. It doesn't mean like it has to be like a, like a haunted house and no crazy shit like that. But it's something that I want to say is like being unsaid and being unspoken about that is going on in a structure. It could be someone's mental structure um but just like a structure and because again it's like again it's like someone is confused someone is in a day someone um i don't necessarily take like um the Seven of Cups of, like, overindulgence. Uh, that's not really what I look at it, but it's like, um, you, there, there could be someone that, again, could just be dealt with a lot of pressure about, should I go over here, should I go over there, like, what to do, and it could, and, and it could very much so, um, bring someone like some type of pressure and anxiety because it's like um it's like I have to choose you know what I'm saying I have it's like I have to present my thoughts or or, or show what I've learned it's like I have to show up you know what I'm saying it's like showing up to class or the three of wands so again it's like Someone is, and again, it's like five different ships, and it's like you having to choose which direction that you're going. It's like things are finally coming in. It's like opportunity, choices, the page of pentacles. And I want to say it's like you got to let one thing in for there to be some positive structure or some reinforcement in your life do you understand what i'm saying like something but it's like something has to be dug up dealt with and then put to rest it's like figure out what the fuck that represents in your life pay your respects to what it was and what it was meant to teach you because again with this page of pentacles it's like it was meant to teach you something to prepare you for these options and these opportunities right here. You understand what I'm saying? So with the red jade, it's like you got to be a warrior. You got to strike. With, I don't, I don't want to say with vengeance, but you have to really move like your life depends on it. It's about your structure. It's about your foundation. It's not about what's best for you today. It's about what's meant for you Period. Your full structure. You can't, you, you know what I'm saying? What's going to last you? What is really going to bring you security and honor? You know, it's like you got to let go. It's like short-term dreams or um, it's something that you had to learn to release in order for you to make a standardized choice. A standardized choice because now things are coming in now things are and it's like I feel like someone didn't have the chance to think or something like that but it's like opportunities being presented quickly and you need to decide where you want to go 
and I, it, it's something about you have to make a wise a wise decision it's about you and what you want because each opportunity will give you different results you have to truly pay attention and be wise and go into your inner your inner you know what I'm saying because it's like something that you've been waiting on is finally showing up you know what I'm saying but it's showing up with not just okay you thought it was just one thing coming no it's a whole bunch of things so it's like I feel like it's bringing up a whole bunch of things inside of you that I, 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 I feel like someone wasn't prepared to deal with because there's they're being faced with confusion and there's something that needs to be put aside for there to be some type of clarity and there can be a balanced decision here again it's like bright eyed and bushy tail I feel like it's like someone is green. It's like they're being newly faced with this opportunity. It's like they've never experienced something before. So it's like it takes time learning. It's like you got to take your time. It's like you need to choose something where you have the opportunity to take the time to learn and really get the fruits out of your labor. Do you understand what I'm saying? What does this say? Develop flexibility and aim to be in harmony in all environments. Again, this is water. Is this water? Yeah, this is water. This is about emotions. Develop flexibility and aim to be in harmony in all environments. All right. Yeah, you about to be, someone is about to be faced with choices. Got choices, and I feel like you got to really think long term and think what's best for you. Because I feel like this is a new experience, this is a new life. And whatever the fuck this was. Cause I, I I feel like there I don't know why I feel like there's something that's haunting someone, um and it's like you need to pay respects to that. It's like I it's like I won't let this bother me no more because it's like it's like I know what that is and I know who that is and I know why it keeps showing up in my life that way and it's like. Let me give you a proper burial or let me give you the proper, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, and it's like in a respectful manner. So I can be at peace with it. Do you feel what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go on to love. Give me guidance here for Virgo and love. Give me two cards, thank you. All right. We got boundaries and then you got the divine feminine. All right. So in a love situation, it looks like there's and again, I'm going back to this. Okay. There's some like feminine energy that there needs to be some boundaries placed with. And it looks like there's like some woman in a dress that, that's being wrapped up, you know. Um, and it seems like it's because with that nine of diamonds right there, it's because like in order for me to, I feel like for my, my structure, for my benefit, you know what I'm saying? For my comfort, I can't. It's like I have something is like. It's like it keeps bothering me. It keeps nagging me. It keeps haunting me. It keeps showing up. So it's like I got to. It's like you're not welcome. You know what I'm saying? It's something isn't welcome to my house. It's not 
welcome to my place of peace. It's like you got to go. You know what I'm saying? In order for me to feel comfortable, in order for me to... No. It's someone saying in order for me to be able to resonate with the energy here, it's like you got to go. I don't know why it's like something has to go. You know, I don't... God, I hate saying all this shit. I don't know why I'm saying this. Like, I don't know. It's creeping me out. Oh, God. Anyway, Father God, listen. But, um, in regards to love, there's someone that there's some boundaries needed to be set with. Um, let's go into this a little bit more. I feel like there are other opportunities, or if there's a feminine energy that you need to set boundaries because you're being given a chance. I feel like you need to focus on the opportunities that are being placed in front of you. Don't look behind you. It's like stop allowing um, something that's dead to haunt you. Do you feel what I'm saying? Um, because it's like something is showing. Like things are showing up in your life with this king of hearts. The nine of diamonds. And it's like telling you to champion through it. It's like find that chi. Find that end of, it's, it's It's like something that's being offered to you and only you. You know? Develop flexibility. It aims to be in harmony in all environments. Because there is like. I don't know. I feel like overseas travel. There's travel that is. You're being prepared for. There's travel that is, it's like someone is going to be moved around. And it's like you got to be flexible and you got to find your chi. You got to be at peace. You got to be a warrior. You got to champion through this because it's, it's, it's some type of experience. You know what I'm saying? For you to learn something and someone has to maintain boundaries and... I don't know if it's like you or I don't know if there's someone going to college and they are having to all of these different universities. It's like, which one do I pick for my school? You know, it's like, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. And this boundaries thing is like, it's talking about protection. It's like. Because I feel like you're going to uncharted territory. So it's like. Recognize what you're there for. You're there to. They're saying an understudy. It's like. Understudy. It's like you. It's like to understand a, a role. Like the understudy. It's like. To prepare yourself in the event that something happens. You know what I'm saying? Because shit happens. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. The five of wands in the reverse. The page of coins. The seven of wands. Whoa. So the five of wands is... Oh, okay. It's saying to get back on the saddle. It's like someone fell off. I feel like someone hurt themselves. Um, it's too much fucking confusion. It was like too much confusion. I want to say it was too much going on at one time. It was like someone, I want to say like someone got hurt. It's like someone got injured. Someone fell off. Someone it's like someone hurt themselves. Cause it's like um it's like something got out of control. Um the five of wands is like especially the divine feminine and the boundaries. There could have been something where something got out of control and someone got hurt. The seven of wands is like It's like someone is not in a place to defend themselves. 
I don't know why it's like someone is being restrained. Um, Cause you see how the horse is being restrained, and it's like not being able to defend itself in some way. It's like I don't know why I feel like it's like um, this person got hurt, but it's like uh, cause the seven of wands is like um, not being able to defend yourself. It's like. Not being able to stand up for yourself, or you you didn't stand up for yourself. And it's like that's how someone got hurt. And it's, it's I, I feel like someone got hurt. I I want to say it's like. You guys are being given a different opportunity. It's like you get to start over with this page of coins. It's like. You know how they say something about like. um, You could teach somebody how to fish. Or you could continue to give them the fish. It's like. You need to set boundaries with this person that it's like someone is trying to it's like whoever this feminine energy is trying to cripple somebody um and combative I want to say abusive like um it's like she does she keep wanting to try to give you the fish. And it's like you got to learn to stop trying to take her fish. Because it's like. I want to say it's like some type of childish trivial game. Because um, the page of Pentacles is about learning. And it's the benefit of longevity. It's about. Again. Is what this person offering you. Is it going to sustain you into what you trying to grow. Comes to full harvest. You know what I'm saying. It's like. Take what this person is offering you, offering you versus what you can give yourself. And, and and I feel like that's what you had to really learn. And it's like someone isn't welcome in your house anymore. Someone isn't welcome in your place. It's like someone ended up getting hurt for someone to learn how to place boundaries. And everything that's being offered to you isn't necessarily good for you. It may come off in the beginning like, oh, yeah, they're being nice. They're offering you something. Yeah, it's like they're giving me a gift. It's cool. But I never learned how to fish on my own. Or I never, you know what I'm saying? And it's like when I'm being offered these opportunities where they need a fisherman or they need someone with a certain set of skills or because the pages represent, I mean, not pages, but it's like, um, it represents immaturity. It represents someone that's still young, still wet behind the ears. It's like you haven't, you're still a child. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like someone trying to sun you or trying to keep someone in a child's position. And it's just like, no, it's like I can do, I'm, I, I know how to do something on my own. I want to say something. My own place of residence is my own shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not even welcome here. It's like a space is better without someone in the memory and being haunted with some type of energy. It's like my fruits grow way more vast. It's like, and again, I want to say someone is not going to take abuse anymore. It's like. You can't offer me anything that I can't give to myself. And it's like you need to learn that. And it's like it's time for someone to grow up and just learn how to fish on your own. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that's like trying to. And it's. And someone, he's got, you got to learn how to stand up for yourself. And. It's like coming out of restraints. I feel like it's like you. Sorry. 
it's like I, I do feel like it's like having to come out of the restraints and believe in yourself and actually stand up for yourself and defend yourself. It's like you have to learn how to defend yourself. And again, it's like don't argue with people. Don't take people's aggressiveness. Don't be passive. It's like you have to set boundaries. You don't have to fight with people. But you don't have to take what you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I don't know, y'all. Let me give you one more guidance and love and then I got to go. Okay, so the, this says two hearts merge through the explosion of love. United, they can create unlimited wealth. Together, they fulfill dreams. So I definitely feel like there is opportunities. Clearly there's opportunities coming to you. But again, the three of the three of wands is when you're walking away from your old life and you're not even looking back. You're paying attention to what's being given to you, what's at face value, what's in front of you. You're not worried on the past. You're not focused on the past. Do you understand? So it's something that needs to be, it's something that's haunting someone and it's haunting their foundation and it needs to be dealt with and it needs to be expunged or it needs to be scrubbed you know what i'm saying it needs to be scrubbed from the existence and you need to move forward without ever thought of what's behind you so you can focus on your current opportunity and make the best choice do you understand because there's someone i feel like that suffered from some level of abuse and uh i want to say abuse and neglect and uh control um Bullying, um, and it's like you can't, st no. Ah, anyway, all right, Virgo, I love you. I got to get out of this energy. I love you. I love you. Hit the um, like button. Tell me what's going on down here, Virgo. I love y'all. Tell me what how this is resonating for y'all in the comments. I love y'all. Peace.